Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to quickly take you guys through the free games over on the Epic Game Store. I know I'm a day late on it, but nonetheless, better late than never. Also, Prime Gaming has added some more stuff. Bear in mind that they already have Dishonored 2 being given away for free right now, so you should definitely take advantage of that. And they added another major freebie, and once again, another Bethesda published title. Seems like Amazon and Bethesda got a pretty good working relationship as far as these Prime titles go, so we'll talk that. And do want to give you guys a heads up on a notable Ubisoft deal. I know some stuff just went down with Ubisoft as far as Steam, the pricing uh, recommendations or whatever change, and I gotta look more into that story, but nonetheless, right now, if you do want to play Ubisoft games for the month really cheap, you can do so with Ubisoft Plus as they have a deep discount on that. We'll talk that at the end of this video, but first of all, Free games on the Epic Game Store, Kerbal Space Program, and Shadow Tactics Ico's Choice. More familiar with Shadow Tactics, this is a standalone expansion to Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun. Definitely go play that. Kerbal Space Program, I know, is a title that a lot of people are super into. Just not really my cup of tea, not a game that I'll be uh, super into, but it's got an overwhelmingly positive recent reception on Steam. That's across 1,130 reviews, 95% positive all time, just shy of overwhelmingly positive with 94% uh, positive reviews, so... Yeah, there you go with that, an 88 on Metacritic, so seems to be a game that a lot of people do really enjoy. Next week, you'll have First Class Trouble available for free, and yeah, this is definitely going to be one of the weaker offerings as far as, you know, for a one-week window. I mean, this is still a fine offering in the sense that it's a game that has a mostly positive reception, over 2,000 reviews, but uh, came out to very little fanfare back in late 2021, so... Maybe this will give the game a little bit of a jolt. It is a social deduction game, but again, that'll be available next week. For now, Shadow Tactics and Kerbal Space Program are the freebies. Okay, if you are an Amazon Prime subscriber, you'll want to make note of the fact that The Evil Within 2 is available free right now with your Prime subscription. On top of that, Lawn Mowing Simulator, Chicken Police Paint It Red, Beat Cop, uh, Dishonored 2, of course, Metal Slug. Far Away 2 Jungle Escape and a Breath Edge. Uh, now, as far as uh, Dishonored and Evil Within go, those are both GOG redeemable codes. So, like, that's probably something that people are really going to be happy about. Beat Cop, by the way, is also a GOG redeemable code. And I've heard pretty good things about Beat Cop, so... You know, you can check that out as well. B-Cop came out all the way back in 2017, but very positive reception on that game as well. So all three of those with your Prime subscription is a um, is three games on GOG. So that's going to be something a lot of people are going to want to take advantage of. I've heard um, really good things about uh, Chicken Police as well. So that might be something you want to check out if you're okay with using the Amazon launcher lawn mowing simulator it is what it is as far as that's concerned so you can check that out and uh yeah a lot of retro titles those retro titles are actually quite a bit of a throwback and i was a big metal slug guy back in the day so nice to see those games available but dishonor 2 definitely play that evil within 2 definitely play that um you know it would be advantageous for you to play dishonored 1 and evil within 1 but it's not absolutely necessary i mean those games are just well-designed games so i would recommend you to check them out outside of that remember like, Prime Gaming is something a lot of people don't take advantage of, but if you're one of the unfortunate souls that do play GTA Online, I kid, I kid, but you get, like, GTA money uh, in the game as well. Destiny 2 content is in there. Like, if you play Genshin Impact, I know a lot of people are down bad for Genshin Impact, so, like, you can get content for Genshin Impact, so... There's a lot of uh, in-game Prime Gaming Capsule for League of Legends. Like, I'm not a League guy anymore, but, like, yeah, you might as well take advantage of all this stuff. And, like, a lot of people just have Prime subscriptions, and they'll play these games, but they just don't uh, utilize this content, which you do have to, like, link your account and whatnot. Um, they even have stuff for, like, Guild Wars 2. Like, I wonder, like, why Amazon goes out of their way to get, like, these specific deals. And I would be, like, very curious to, like, know what kind of, like, financial deals are made to get content like that. I know Amazon's got an absurd amount of money, but... Yeah, uh, you get the idea. Prime is obviously a service a lot of you guys have just for the free shipping and for, uh, you know, Prime Video and whatnot, but uh, a lot of this extra stuff is actually kind of notable, so there you go with that. That, again, is free with your Prime subscription. Lastly, I do want to note... Ubisoft, not everybody's favorite publisher these days. Nonetheless, they do have a bevy of games that a lot of people do want to check out. And Ubisoft Plus right now, you can get a month for $1. Now, Ubisoft Plus, what is really good about this, this gets you all the new releases that Ubisoft puts out, which there hasn't been that, many no that much notable stuff recently. But um, 
it also gets you the premium editions of those games. So, like, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, premium edition of that game, and, like, Dawn of the Ragnarok is in there as well, I believe. Like, that's kind of ridiculous. Um, Far Cry 6, all the content. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege, of course, all the content. And, uh, you know, that makes it a pretty good value offer when you can get a month for a dollar. Ultimately, it is $15 a month, which, what does that work out to? That's like $180 a year, if my math is correct. Yeah, I think $180 a year. So, you know, it's the cost of, uh, the yearly cost is to pay, uh, what, for three games. Although it's a little bit less than three games because they will be upping their price of games to $70 here soon. But, I don't think that there is, like, a one-year subscription that you can buy. So you could literally, like, sign up to Ubisoft Plus for $15 when, like, a big game drops. Let's say in March, when Skull and Bones drops. You can sign up then, play the game for as much as you like, and then, you know, decide after that whether or not you want to move on from the subscription service. But, uh, yeah, a lot of these publishers go on the subscription service route, and ultimately it's going to be interesting to see which ones are really left standing after all of it. Because you, you kind of saw this with uh, the media world as well, where it started off with Netflix, you know, Hulu was a thing, and now you just have, like, a billion uh, different services. You've got Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, Peacock, Disney+, Plus, et cetera, et cetera. Like, the, the, there's a lot of money to be spent on subscription services. So I recommend people, when you sign up to stuff like this, first of all, don't be stupid and don't forget to like ultimately cancel your subscription if you don't want to use it. Like that's how sometimes they make a lot of money where people are just like, it's $15 a month, I might as well keep it, and they just keep getting charged $15 a month. Look, I've been there as well, like, I've had that happen to me for a long time with various subscription services, and then when you actually look at how much money you can drop on a subscription service over a course of time, where you may not even be using it, it's actually pretty freaking disgusting. But in the case of this, it's a dollar, play these games for a month, see which ones you like, Rayman's in there as well, Child of Light's in there, all the older Assassin's Creed games, it's really the entire Ubisoft cast catalog, which, you know, again, I have my opinions on Ubisoft these days, but going back and playing a game like Splinter Cell Blacklist, Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed, you know, 4, etc, etc, if you don't have those games on Steam, there's a lot of reason to check out uh, games at that quality. D Division 2 is in there as well, I know Division 2 is now available on Steam, but, um, or it's coming to Steam soon, one of the two, but nonetheless, you guys get the idea, a dollar I think is a pretty good price, I believe it is for, you know, new subscribers, so bear that in mind as well, but, um, yeah, buck for that, pretty good. That'll do it for me. Again, Kerbal Space Program available free right now on the Epic Game Store, as is Shadow Tactics, Blades of the Chogun, Ico's Choice, that is a standalone expansion, First Class Trouble, free next week. Prime Gaming, man, really impressed by some of their offerings. Maybe they're going a little bit over the top of their offerings, given that, you know, New Year, holidays, everything like that. Everybody's more so in a festive mood, but man, when you can get Evil Within 2 and Dishonor 2 for free with your subscription, um, you should take advantage of that. Go take advantage of, like, the in-game content as well, if you're interested. And a buck for Ubisoft Plus, which I think is a pretty darn good deal. My opinions on Ubisoft these days aside, they do have some great older titles. And, hey, no slight to those of you that like the newer Assassin's Creed games. My boy just completed Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and he's, like, super into that game right now, and he's really enjoying it. So, you know, a lot of people like it. Odyssey's in there, of course. Riders Republic, so on and so forth. But that'll do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.